This new application will be a collaboration of multiple services. It will include a daily time tracker for bus routes and even sporting events on campus. And for you meal planners out there, it will include a list of nutrition facts for the dining halls. Products like these tend to be on sale in grocery stores, but they also tend to be high in sugar. But Kayla's going to go to the store this week to find some healthy alternatives for the same cost. Her goal is to show the class that you can still eat healthy for $25 to $30 a week. This golf cart had to use a bridge to get over the water, but in the hovercraft, I can go anywhere on this golf course I want, including on top of the water. An Athens man threatened to kill his unborn child by kicking the mother in the stomach. Santique Barrow allegedly punched the pregnant woman, knocked her to the ground, and prevented a 911 call. She protected the child, but Barrow got away. He was later charged with felony battery, obstruction of a 911 call, and third degree cruelty to children. Professors here at the College of Family and Consumer Sciences have been doing research on obesity in the senior population, adults, and adolescents. They've been working with the College of Education to provide activities for local schools. Colleagues have even partnered with businesses like Home Depot to start initiatives in the workplace. The Classic Center's expansion grand opening gala wasn't just about champagne and black ties. Reporter Julie Calhoun is live at the Classic Center to tell us about the enhanced economic growth here in Athens. Exactly. They trusted the dog. His son Dominic knew the dog for two years prior to this event. His father didn't want to do an on-camera interview, but what he told me off-camera that's even more surprising is that this was not just a bite. It was a full-blown attack. This pit bull that attacked Dominic may seem harmless, but most people think pit bulls are violent dogs. However, Amanda Newsom believes this can be true for any breed of dog. It kind of talks about pit bulls um, and the bad stigma and stereotypes that they do get. Um, you know, an animal, its temperament is very directly related to the way you raise that animal. Um, you know, if it doesn't really matter what breed it is, it matters on how you raise it. Training may be one aspect, but there is another important factor to keep in mind. Dominic's father never felt comfortable leaving his children alone with dogs, and this is something Amanda agreed with. Um, and I think it's incredibly important to emphasize the fact that children should never be left alone with an animal, whether it's your pet, someone else's. It's just kind of a rule that His father says they still love dogs and have no hate towards pit bulls. His father only has one thing in mind right now, and that one thing is Dominic. As for Dominic, he remains in the hospital, but he is conscious. Live in the newsroom, I'm Hannah Patrick, Grady News Source. The MacArthur Award is given to 8 out of 273 ROTC units nationwide. This award came after Kayla LaChance became the first female from UGA to complete the Mountain Warfare course. Kayla LaChance is not just the only female at UGA to complete this two-week course, but she is the only cadet, male or female, from the UGA ROTC program to complete it successfully. I think it was the mental part to get over the physical part because there's a lot of mountains <laughs> and hills we had to go up. And As a cadet, you can put an interest into this course, but ultimately they choose who they think is qualified to complete the course. They say they, you know, those are the females that are going to make it through are the ones that are going to come, so. Kayla is widely respected by her fellow cadets. She's been through a lot of adversity over the years, um, a lot of personal and, uh, you know, things around training that she's overcome over the last couple years, and she's done very well uh, getting over those humps and actually, you know, performing well. Kayla does a lot of planning and training as a senior cadet. She says the course isn't just going to give her excellent skills and points for future promotions. Really the main thing that can get you a lot of respect, especially being female, that you could make it through something like that. So. Kayla's dad served in the Army out of high school and says she has a family full of police officers. She plans on following in their footsteps and joining the military police corps when she graduates in May. Live outside the military building, I'm Hannah Patrick, Grady News Source. Blockbusters and other movie stores are closing nationwide, but one local Athens video store has found a way to keep their video businesses running. Reporter Hannah Patrick is founding, found out how the video is still succeeding. Well, Danielle, two brothers own these local Vision Videos. They've been running Vision Video for over 26 years. Unfortunately, they have to close one of the three stores. However, they have found a way to keep the other 
two stores running smoothly. Movie rentals like have been change? going on for over four decades now. But the rise of internet access, Netflix, and Redbox have created competition. The Vision video on the east side, however, does not plan on closing anytime soon. I have really good faith in this location, uh, or at least in Vision video, because we're local. Um, I think Blockbuster's main problem was that they went nationwide with you know 10 million stores and uh, just kind of overdid themselves. One of the managers believes their movie recommendations, loyal customers, and personality will keep their business open. Zach Henderson says their wide variety of movies, from foreign to anime, also set them apart from regular movie stores. You go to Blockbuster or Hollywood Video Movie Gallery and you're just like, hey, do you have any foreign films? Like, yeah, I have five. They even have a trivia game they like to play with their customers. Um, but it varies in questions. It all has to do with film. And you, what we would do is when you got it right, you would get uh, a free old release on us. We have customers that come in here, and it's the personal interaction. You know, they'll come in and say, oh, I like this movie. And we'll say, oh, well, have you seen this one? Henderson believes their locality and personal recommendations will keep them growing in the Athens community. Hannah Patrick, Grady News Source. The brothers believe that closing the Broad Store location will help out the other two locations. They say the Broad Store was in the middle of the other two. This will hopefully bring them more business. The mayor and the director of the Athens Transit System are both very excited about the final outcome of the project that took almost 10 years to complete. There are over 223 spots available and some outstanding green initiatives. Solar panels, rain gardens, and pervious pavement fill this new lot located off exit 8 on loop 10. It is lit with solar lighting that is not on the grid system at all. This is lighting that stores light for several days and it lights at nighttime only. The new green features are part of an ongoing attempt to make Athens more environmentally friendly. Something that all of our community can be proud of, it's the direction our community and our whole country needs to be moving in lots of areas. The parking lot is free and the buses are free for students with their student IDs. City officials say it is also a safer option for students on campus. If I was a student, I think I would feel very comfortable parking here for the day because it's going to be well lit. It will be, it's going to have, have people coming and going all the time. The new parking lot will ultimately free up parking all across the Athens community. The whole idea of the lot is to provide a parking location outside of the downtown central business district or off of the main campus area to allow individuals to park so that we can free up space in those areas for maybe more appropriate uses. This parking lot was funded by a grant so the local government had no cash layout. This means no money came from you as taxpayers. The mayor of Athens cut the ribbon in front of the bus stop today to mark the occasion. The buses run Monday through Saturday every 20 minutes during the peak hours of the day. Live in the newsroom, I'm Hannah Patrick, Grady News Source. Thanks, Hannah.